cryotoid channel blood fluid. Once more, we're back at Hammond Manor as we're going to carry on with Password. It's uh, day 22 this time. And as usual, we carry on with Dean's route at the moment. And as I say, when I get some time, hopefully soon, and maybe in July, we'll actually record some scenes from Tyson's route so you can get caught up with what's going on. And for those of you really into Password, we are doing Path A. So you'll know what that means. But enough of that, let's get back into the game. The day played through my mind, not solid enough to form a dream about it, but the events still rang true. The dream, Dom, the talk. Oswin's deal and the fact we're on a two-day time until we'll be seeing Dom again, just with Oswin and Roswell leaving, one of which not coming back. But two days. That's all we had until the next event was going to happen. Was it a lot of time or just a little? The idea kept bouncing in my head between the two the more I thought about it. As I opened my eyes, I took a moment to adjust. Carefully, I looked at the ceiling and flexed each of my fingers in turn, making sure that I wasn't asleep. I felt silly that that's what it had come to, but I breathed out knowing I was properly awake. Good morning, handsome. You're up early. I sat up in bed, seeing Dean having just finished putting on his pants. You didn't want to cuddle? Well, normally I would. We're after yesterday, I'm a bit worried about. His smile fades as he trailed off, warned over the window and looking outside. I guess I couldn't sleep knowing that they might come back. Even after we were told two days? I think they've been told it's two days has made it worse. What if it's not two days? But sooner we'll be caught off guard. If it's late, then we're going to be constantly worrying and wondering when the Mafia is coming back. What if it is two days? Well, then we were lucky. Dean, are you okay? Really? Well, I just want to be doing more, that's all. I must have been able to freely go and enjoy the greenhouse, or even just looking at the forest from the edge of the yard, or even going in the hot tub. Dean growled, throwing up his arms briefly. The hot tub, Dave! Hot tub! Well, at least there'll be a chance for a hot tub soon, right? Once we get off the mountain, we can go somewhere that has one and just, you know... Well, I know it might seem silly. The hot water has always helped with stress. I feel like I'm more stressed than ever after meeting Dom, too. Because he was a bear, or because he was in the Mafia? Well, both. Doesn't help he's bigger than me and has a gun. What do I have? Well, I'm just a woodsman. I'd say you're more than that. I got out of bed, stretching. The starters, you have me. But I guess you also have Sal, Tyson, the others. Plus an axe. Dean grunted, shaking his head before settling his eyes out of the window. I wouldn't worry about it, Dean. If anything goes wrong and we're needing to head into the woods, you have us covered. I'm sure of it. Well, thanks. Do you feel at least a little better? I really want to go sit in the hot tub, but I do feel a little better. Thanks. What do you think you're doing now, then? I'll sit outside with a cup of coffee and an axe, probably. Well, just in case. Just in case. You're welcome to join me, but I'd rather you stay safe inside. You're worried about me? Of course I am, so I want to keep you safe. I wandered over and gave him a hug, him wrapping his arms around me in kind. Oh, let me finish getting dressed so we can head downstairs. Once we made it downstairs, Dean kissed me sweetly on the cheek and watched as he wandered out the back, leaving me to head towards the kitchen. The moment I stepped into the kitchen, I made for the coffee pot and got myself sorted. Rashing out a little of the milk from the refrigerator, I took my coffee a little darker than usual. Not that it mattered when the bitter flavour hit my tongue. The warmth and the jolt of endorphins that came with my favourite drink gave me the jump I needed to properly wake up. Though not bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I could feel myself start to take stock of it easier. Tomorrow, at some point, Roswell and Oswald would head off with Dom. 
it is a waiting game for Roswell to come back and be able to go home. It didn't really sit all that well with me, but it wasn't if I had a say in it. Going to the pantry, I was reminded of our food situation. Best not to touch anything in case Orlando already had plans for a little bit in here. Plans to make breakfast went out of the window. The faint tapping of his foot on the counter clued me into him being there before I turned around. But there he was all the same. What are you doing? Thinking. About? Stuff. Stuff and things. Thing stuff. Stop that. What else am I supposed to do? Making yourself useful seems like a good start. How am I going to be doing that exactly? Dom is coming tomorrow, right? If we play nice, then we get off the mountain, right? You think I'd listen to what I said yesterday? He's variable. I still don't really know what you mean by that. Things went all right yesterday. He listened to you. We'd just have to wait. You really think it's going to be that simple? I hope it will be. What about Jack, then? What about him? You think he's just going to let all of you walk off the mountain? Think Memphis will do the same? Yes. Well, that's why I said it's variable. Sometimes they don't. Even after Dom made his deal. Who do you think you're dealing with, Junior? Really? It's not like I've had to make deals or talk to the Mafia before. I don't know how this works. I'm just scared. I want to go home. I want to keep my friends safe. I'm thinking about how you're going to do that. Can't you just tell me what's not worked already? Not doing anything doesn't work. There's a clue. I growled, stepping close to him, but he took a couple of steps back as if expecting me to do something. I hate how you make me feel, by the way. Like I don't have a say in anything. Like I don't have any control. And this bad stuff would be happening if you weren't around. You really think so? I know so. If you were in a thing in Memphis wouldn't be trying to get you. People wouldn't have to be dying to test how this thing works. Who knows what else? Take that back. You don't know anything, Dave. I know enough. I was assaulted by sound that made me buckle but not pass out. You know nothing. You can't even comprehend how many times I have to watch all of you die. How many times I've been left alone for countless years until I wake up the next time around to do it all again? I looked up at him, standing at the edge of the counter. The same conversations, the same questions, and all for what? I don't... I'll tell you what it wasn't for, Dave. It wasn't to spend eternity solving a problem that has no answer. I don't... know. So when I ask you about Jack, what are you going to do? Hi. What is going on in here? Orlando? Aye, talk some sense into Dave. Thanatos, the hell did you do to him? I was pulled from the ground and dusted off, Orlando adjusting the coffee cup in my hand while huffing at the rat on the counter. I think it wasn't necessary. I find that hard to believe. He wants me to think about what I'm doing about Jack. What? Did, did I hear that correctly? I turned to look at Roswell who seemed out of it, stumbling into the room slightly. You look terrible. Rude. Oh, I feel terrible. What was it about Jack? Is he here? Not yet. At the rate we're going, it's unlikely. That's good, right? Roswell, sit down. You look like you're about to collapse. Well, I'll be fine. If he's not sitting down the next minute, he's going to be on the floor and chip one of his tusks. You're bluffing. Wait and find out, then. What about the Jack thing? Is Are we in danger? Did... Orlando caught Roswell as he started to wobble. The minute wasn't close to being up, but I looked across to Thanatos. We should talk, shouldn't we? Are you willing to listen? I still don't trust you, Thanatos. Well, good thing we pivoted away from you being able to help anyone a long time back. Sal, Hoss and Dean are outside. Ties up me down shortly and join them. I'll be taking Dave for a bit. What about me in Orlando? Rest or whatever. Dave will fill you in later. For what I think was the first time, Thanatos led the way to the kitchen towards the front door. 
not by climbing up onto my shoulder, but walking along the floor ahead of me. I opened the door for him and he stepped out first, with me closing the door behind us soon after. My hand was shaking and I sipped on my coffee, looking out at the trees trying to spot anything Thanatos seemed to be looking for. I owe you an apology. Am I going to get one? What do you think? Probably not. Well, at least you got that right. Level me. Do you hate me? All of us. Well, that's complicated. That's not an answer. Why does it matter how I answer? What you think of me and what I think of you lot doesn't matter at all things considered. Outside of you needing us to help you, anyway. Naturally, we're so close, so painfully close. To... The end. I sat down the steps leading up to the front door next to Thanatos and continued to drink my coffee. You're talking about our escape? It goes well, then. I can't, but... That's yet to be seen. Things still need to happen. I'm just going to assume you're either going to tell me specifically what I need to do, or tell me literally nothing and I'm just meant to figure it out. You haven't gathered already, you need to have a plan for Jack. How can you even plan around him? He's fast, has a knife. More than one, actually. Unless you can sign me up some magical knife-proof armour, I don't think I have what it takes to deal with that. I've been trying to find a reliable solution myself. Keeping Dominic alive has worked so far. Because he can keep his work buddy in check. Don't underestimate how much that bear wants an easy job. You're not going to outbid Memphis, but you can make his life easier while still getting Memphis what he wants. Dom will make sure it happens. But what if Dom isn't around? Now we have a problem. So we need a contingency plan? I should keep on getting stabbed. I drank deep from my coffee, trying to think about it. Could we set a trap? Would a weapon be useful? Escaping? Looking down to my empty cup, I wondered where I could draw some inspiration from. Well, I don't want anyone to get stabbed. Why well, is going to need to be stabbed, though? Maybe a little. Need? Ooh, why? Doesn't matter who, but if someone's going to take the fall there, I see Roswell get in the way like he normally does. Yeah, and if I don't want Roswell stabbed? You offering to take his place? I... Hmm... I didn't like the idea of getting stabbed. But I didn't like the idea of the others getting hurt more. Careful, Junior. Show any more courage I think you are developing a hero complex. It's not that. I just want my friends to be safe. Yeah, I know. You hear that enough times it's basically imprinted by now. What if telling you to give up and let them die is going to be much different? What? Did you say? What? Were you the reason I was thinking those things? I don't know what you're talking about. The thing telling me to give up to let my friends die. If only. I reached out to grab him, just hopped backwards out of reach. Careful, Dave. You know something, don't you? I knew what had happened the moment everything went black. So in the back of my mind I swore at Thantos' ability to just knock me out whenever he wanted. At least I was getting used to the sensation, knew what was happening. When I opened my eyes I was restrained somewhere dark. Off in the corner against some sort of rusted pipe. I could smell blood. My face was dripping. My head ringing. I reckon the boss made the right call. Dom, buddy, pal, friend... You can just say yes. Look, I don't know, I don't care. Just wanted to know when we can get some action. I'm so bored. You can always go say hello to your friend if he's conscious. I could hear the glee in Jack's voice. He made a sound so in a mix of a gasp and a squeal. Where it was, though, made me sick to my stomach. Jack, could you not? I have a headache. Spoil, spoil. I can have Memphis to mess with. I strained looking from where I was, but not only was in not in control, their voices echoed from far enough away that I got they were deeper into the mill. Things started to fade away when I heard footsteps getting closer. I couldn't tell who was from where they started, it couldn't have been either Dom or Jack. When I opened my eyes next, I was greeted with a sudden and small throbbing headache. How? I was flat on my back, staring upwards with Thanatos just off to the side. 
looked over my way once I'd made a sound and got closer. What happened? I'll take credit for that. I could feel myself start to get angry, but something stopped me. Something seemed off. Familiar. You made me pass out again. Why? Anagos gave me a look, eyes narrowing before he responded. For fun. What kind of person even does that? Well, I'm hardly a person, am I? Yeah. Looking over to Thanatos, he seemed confused about something, and I thought I knew what. What kind of person even does that? Well, I'm... Hardly a person, right. Me finishing this sentence gave him pause. Was he suspicious? Was it just all a big coincidence? On a more serious note, two questions for you. I don't know what I'm going to do about Jack. Eh? There isn't many options for us, is there? What are you playing at? Huh? You know what you're doing. What was the second thing you wanted to ask, I mean? It's about what you saw in that little dream I gave you just now. You mean memory? Oh, semantics. I didn't reply, trying to understand how this conversation was going. It was like my dream, except I knew how it was going to go. Well, this time, anyway. Details, Dave. Well, it's basically what happened yesterday, except... Except? Thanatos clapped in my direction to wake me up. I was maybe zoning out a little too much, being roused from my thoughts to look at him. The hell is wrong with you? What? You know what? I probably need therapy. Yeah, among other things. From your perspective, we had this conversation before. Uh, sort of. Well, you tell me what happens next, then. How about a test? I ask you a question, you give me the answer. And if I get it right? Then we'll know you've been through this all before, and I'll treat you to something nice. And then the question is... Where is the Leo medal? My throat felt dry. In the place where Oswin does his best work. Fuck off. Do I pass? We must have had this conversation before. Not exactly. And how did you know? Well, last night, the dream I had. You said you didn't cause it, but... Thanatos scratched his chin, thinking it over. You're right, I didn't. Which means... You're remembering. I don't know how still, but you're remembering. Have I remembered... before? Or well, sometimes it's inconsistent. Huh. I scratched my head, unsure what I was meant to do with that information. What did you see when I put you under just now? The inside of the water mill. At least I'm pretty sure it was there from what I remember from when I was there last. Anything else? Dominic and Jack were there, talking about something. I was bleeding, maybe? Tied up to something in the corner, though. Interesting. Interesting good or bad? That's interesting. Something to think about. Because? You're not giving me a lot to go off of. Just well, because it's interesting to me doesn't mean it's going to be interesting to you. Fine, keep your secrets. Besides, you probably want to know where the Leo medal is. Well, yeah. The place where Oswin does his best work, so... The lab? No. What do you mean, no? That isn't where he does his best work. Then, where? Let's go for a walk. Kantos climbed up my shoulder and guided me back inside. From there, it was towards the stairs leading up. Over there. I followed his outstretched arm to a bookcase and tilted my head. You want me to grab a book? Two, actually. And the medal is going to be inside. In a sense. How can a single medal be inside two books? Is it broken, or...? I took a step back, looking over the bookcase. This is like the one that leads to the library from the conservatory, isn't it? Well done. The two you want are those. 
He pointed at two books, neither of which looked out of place, but that seemed to be the point. Push out the other bookcase, I heard the click. Now just push that aside and we can go in. Inside it seemed fairly ordinary as rooms went. Nothing seemed off in any case. It's a small desk with the walls lined with books on what shelves are available. Has this been here the whole time? I sat Thanatos down on the desk and looked around. Sure has. Only Oswin uses it. Good others have found it already too. Who? Roswell and Hoss both have. Molly did anything with the information after seeing the room was empty. Huh. Time's ticking. You're looking for a book. Another secret passage. Not this time. Oswin's sister hid this one away too. Alright, then what's the book? A three tall pigs. Oh, I know that one. Not this version. Oh, how is this one different? You want me to tell you a story, you want the medal? Both? I'll find the book, I'll give you the abridged version. Any clues or should I start searching? Oh, get looking. I'll wait. I started at one end and started slowly scanning the books with my fingers running over the spines, making sure I didn't miss any by accident. I took it slow. Well, I look, can I ask you something? What? Why do you mess with Oswin so much? Like... If he's not your master, then why do, I guess, any of the things you do to him? It's fun. I get that. There's no other reason. It's just fun, and that's it. I keep the boredom at bay. Also, if he's so proud of being the smartest one in the room, he can stand to be humbled. Is he really the smartest one here? Well, it's for sure not you, Junior. Roswell's pretty smart. What about him? It's hard to say. Those who are in the same room is interesting to watch without me need to do anything, so I just sit back and enjoy the show. Anyone else compare, or... Or Sal, perhaps. Again, it's hard to say, though, for that one, it's because he doesn't say too much to me. Fair enough. My turn. Why do you want to know? You already know. Otherwise you wouldn't be asking, right? Want to catch me off guard with your recollection of the Leo medal? Better double-check everything. We still don't know who your master is, so any clue might help. Thanatos nodded slowly, holding my gaze. Oh, stop. You're touching the book now. Looking back where my hand was, I hooked my finger into the top of the spine and pulled it carefully from its spot on the shelf. So it's in here, huh? Well, no point waiting. Open up and get the medal. Okay, okay, I'm going. I did so and found a section of it hollowed out. The pages hadn't been glued together. The bulk of the book, or maybe its age, kept the thing together. This is a bulky children's story. I think that story's for children, Dave. Carefully setting the book down, I picked up the medal. Leo. That wasn't all that was in the book. A lone photograph left underneath it. What's this? I'll take it in, Dave. Who do you think those three are? Well, it's obvious Oswin and his siblings, right? That's right. But why is this here? Never ask Laurentia, which is a bit hard at the moment. Yeah, it's just so strange. Go on. That Oswin was a kid once, like us. The people here were once just kids. And? Did they go through anything like this? If they did, could that be why it's happening to us? I stared close to the photo, rubbing my thumb over the glossy print. Why was this left here? Who was it left for? Well, surely not me, right? Oh. Looking at the right on the back, I was left with even more questions. At the very least, who had written this was at least obvious. Flora, huh? Abby Florencia, at least where Oswin and Reginald called her. Makes sense, given the photo, I guess. Put the photo back in the book and placed it back on the shelf, pocketing the medal. What are you planning on doing with that? I don't know. Show the others for starters and then leave it with the rest. And? And while I'm at it, think about what I'm going to do about Jack. Good. I don't know what you could possibly expect me to do. Is there anything notable in the past, or... I don't know. 
Whatever happens, it happens out in the woods, way outside of my maximum range. And no one tells you afterwards. Let's just say other things get in the way. Alright, well, I'm just going to accept that and figure it out. Maybe I'll ask the others. There you go. Before I go, what happens in this version of the story? Alright. So the story is the same for the most part. Three pigs, three houses. You get the gist. Then what's different? There's no wolf. And how does the story function? Isn't the big bad wolf kind of important to how the story goes? First little pig leaves home, gets sick and dies. Poisoned by the influence of the outside world, ultimately done in by a rabbit that offered them a piece of chocolate. Clearly not the Easter Bunny then. Then goes somewhere far away, is presumed dead. This one is also offered chocolate, but instead turned into a rabbit. That's as good as dead from the author's eyes. I took a moment to look for an author's name on the spine, but nothing stood out. And the third? Survived? Yes. And that's it? He just survived? They survived, yes. Though the rabbit didn't. Cooked alive in the house after trying to burn it down. That's really not a children's story. I told you that already. We don't have a sweeping epic for children when there aren't any pictures either. Except that book did have a picture. You know what I meant. I think what bothers me is... There wasn't really a lesson to learn, was there? Just that be wary of rabbits, they come to poison you or turn you into one of them, or I guess try and burn down your house? Not to be wary of rabbits specifically, there was no lesson. Racist? Oh, pretty much. Regis liked to have such books on hand, apparently. Regis... Hammond. Right, mean that would be Oswin's father. Huh. Alright. Ah, but I forget. Probably best you head downstairs now before you miss it. I'll catch up. Something important. You'll find out when you get there. I left Thanatos in the study and headed back downstairs with the Leo medal in my hand. Just what else were you meant to do? I froze on the spot and decided to listen in, wondering what was happening. And not worry about it, simply. But... Dean, he said not to worry about it. I hear Oswin grunt for making a move to leave, but his footsteps came to a halt and he called out. Hey Dave, I know you're there. Come on down. What's going on? Roswell's sick. Well, yeah, we know. Really sick. How sick is really sick? Oswin put a hand on my shoulder, shaking his head. He'll be fine comparatively to, well, dying. That's not much of a comfort. Can't you have medicine? What medicine would you want me to give him? I could knock him out, but he'd still feel the pain. I could numb the pain, but he'd be wandering around in days and... As opposed to what? What's he like now? Aside from tired, he seemed all right before. He looks like he's just run a mile. Where it's his eyes. It's so dilated. Would you rather him conscious or asleep? Sounds like he'd be better asleep. Fine, if he consents now, I'll put him under. Why didn't you ask me then? Oh, come now, we're long past the point of that, Dave. He waved me off, shaking his head. Now, if you'll excuse me. When did all this happen, anyway? We came inside to get coffee and almost ran into Roswell. Well, we did, actually. Almost knocked him over and had Orlando rushing out to help. And then you planned on coming to get me? That was the plan. Where's Hoss and Tyson? They split off to look for some to help. No clue as to where they ended up. Let's go and check in on Roswell then. I'm curious to know if Roswell is actually going to help or not. Roswell, please. Oh, I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine and you know it. Roswell's on the floor and Roswell was supporting his back as he knelt beside him. Now I'll ask you again. Which option did you want to go with? I can't sleep. I have to... I have to keep... Roswell... What did you do? 
Is he okay? Did he just... Oh, passed out. I didn't give him anything, if you were wondering. This is bad, isn't it? What do we do? We let him rest. All the excitement is likely wearing him down faster than if he were allegedly waiting out the clock. Oswin picked up Roswell carefully, shifting him to carry him on his back. I'll go put him to bed. You figure out among yourselves what you want to be doing next. He has a look on Oswin's face he carried Roswell out of the room, somewhere between grim and absent. Well, at least he's in the care of a doctor. He's not a doctor anymore. He's more qualified than any of us are. It's really happening, isn't it? Roswell, you know, dying. I shifted and come to me on the spot, not liking the prospect. It's the most likely thing that's afflicting him. Although if it is, I don't think there's much we can do, aside from making him comfortable. And so soon? I thought we had more time. I guess not. I stepped back under the foyer and immediately called out. Thanatos! No need to yell, I'm already here. He's sitting on the stairs, patiently, clearly knowing I was going to come yelling. What's happening with Roswell? What do you think? What do we do? Nothing? Not as if there's anything to do about it. What about tomorrow? Wasn't he meant to go with Oswin? He's in no state to go anywhere. Everything's going as it should, don't you worry. You knew this was going to happen and didn't say anything? What do you have done if I told you? Not as if you could cure him. But Thanatos! She, you go cry my name like that and I'm going to put you under again. He sort of made a show of dusting his hands off or gesturing me closer. Or maybe we should go downstairs and give putting in the password a try. There's a password. There might be. He doesn't have the normal tells, but he's almost certainly lying. What would you rather believe, Dave? Hey, even a question? Hoss. Absolutely for sure, believe Hoss. Real nice, Junior. Ty made a move to kick Thanatos off the stairs, zealously sidestepped. Listen, you want some help or not? Help for Roswell or help for what exactly? Dave, think about what he's offering you. I'm thinking. I've been thinking too. What about? So they cover us tomorrow, right? Why don't we just fucking bail? Big dog, we talked about that not being an option. Nah, get that road thing. I mean, just not be in the fucking house. I don't get it. You mean we'd just be outside? Hide in the woods or whatever, yeah. Wait until they get bored and just well, come back when they leave. Yeah, go ahead and try that. That tone almost sounds like it's not going to work. You tell me, what do you think? I scratched my chin, thinking it over. If you're nearby so we know when it's safe to come back, you've probably seen it. Which means you know how well that goes even if we don't come back. I'll save you the effort and say that they know the woods better than you do. There's less of them, and Dean and Dominic are about equivalent. That sounds like we're screwed. Oh, unless the exchange tomorrow goes well, right? With Roswell like he is, though, we kind of... Um... Well, I just have to think of something, that's all. I looked at Thanatos, his smile never once fading. Already knew what it was that he was implying by it, too. Yeah. Something. Well, I don't know shit. Oh, it's not that hard to track, Tyson. Now, now, we don't need to be so hasty there. Who knows what the morning will bring? It's not even lunchtime. Hardly the point he's making, Dave. Well, the point is I have no idea what we're meant to be doing now. Just a favour and take care of Dave for a bit. Time for me to have a chat with the host in Orlando. Yeah, about what? Well, get that when you're taking me to Orlando. I'm not giving you a lift. Also really walking back towards the dining room, ignoring Thanatos' gesture to be let up. Not this time either, huh? You probably mess up his mane or whatever. 
In case you two do some talking. I'll check in later. Get around to the horse, disappearing into the other room. So are we going to talk? He looks around for sizing me up. I guess so. Need the way, Ty. We headed upstairs and Tyson dropped into a chair, choosing to watch me pick one for myself as well. So, we should talk. Fuck knows what I'm about, though. Ty, there's nothing at all that comes to mind. Okay, yeah, there's something. Don't know how important it is, though. Could be a little important if Thanatos wanted us to talk. Alright, well, it's about getting off the mountain, yeah? What about it? So, say how goes that word with that Tom guy, right? How do we know they're coming back? You don't think they will? We know Roswell's not fucking going if he gets better real quick. Even then, I don't think he's going to make it. Harsh, but I get where you're coming from. Right. So, I'm going to go. You? Why? Well, I can see in the dark I'm not about to go leaving you on this mountain if I find a way out. You didn't consider escaping then and there and getting help. I reckon that's what someone like Dean or Sal might do, but fuck that. You don't think they'd come back? They wouldn't just abandon us. At least I don't think so. I don't know. If didn't think they consider one, I know I'd come back. We could escape and get the police. Take the escape while you have it before something else happens. And come out to find out you're all being killed? Oh. All I'm saying is I don't want to find out later you've gone and died when I could have been around to keep you safe. Or if you're the one being put in danger by going out there. You want to find out that you've been killed either. Uh, the rope, huh? We have to pick someone expendable. I don't like the sound of that either. Well, tough. We don't have a choice, do we? Why do we send someone or we give up finding that way home? He's trying to keep my gaze, but he seemed troubled by the idea as well. Was there anyone who'd be willing to just let go in case the worst happens? Would it be a case of having to pick up random? And I think I wanted to run by you too. What's that? When we get home, I want to go to the beach. Wait, what? I want to get out of here, go on a proper vacation. It was a quick smile, but he flashed me one to test my mood. Just us, the Halloway brothers. We'll go get some ice cream or something. You know, like last time or whatever. Might have considered letting me bring my boyfriend along for the ride. He wasn't listening. Already shaking his head, I haven't decided how things were going to go. Fine, whatever. Point is, it'll be great. Conversation seemed to die there, though, fade into silence. The silence stretched until Tyson started to rub his head, eyes on the floor. I'm just worried. Me too. I think that's what the rat wanted us to talk about. Just that we're worried. Honestly, I have no clue, Ty. It's just... I don't know. So, uh, I've been wanting to ask something else if that's cool. What is it? So that rabbit is probably going to be back at some point now that we know he's not alone. So you're, like, going to be fine with that? No. Well, probably not. He almost killed me. Okay, good. Good? I mean, I don't like the idea of him coming back, so I want to do something about it. Such as? I'm trying to figure out what sort of trap we could set. Or we could just get Benson to shoot him. Make our lives a bit easier. Wouldn't that just annoy Dominic? Who the fuck cares? Because... They're... Work buddies? And... Wouldn't that upset him? Again, and? Wouldn't he want to, like, get revenge? I could see the cogs turning in Tyson's head slowly as he reasoned out what I'd said. Shit. Phantoms have been on my case about trying to figure out what to do about Jack, but I'm getting the impression there isn't really anything we can do after all. Maybe do nothing. He says that doesn't turn out well either. And if he's lying? Uh, hmm. Dude, I don't know. How about you just leave Jack to me? I'll think of something. I guess that's fine. 
I watched as Tyson stood from his chair and came closer. He pulled me carefully to my feet and looked me in the eye. I love you, you dork. Before I could get a word out, he had his arms around me in a tight hug. He started to rub my back and I hugged him back, breathing out. Part of me knew what was at stake already, knowing our lives were on the line. But holding Ty like this and having him hold me back really cemented it. Any moment I could lose this. I could lose what I had with any of my friends, and the pit in my stomach grew to the point I started trembling. I thought of Roswell dying. I thought of everyone in danger already. As my trembling grew, Tyson's grip around me tightened. Hey, you're all right. How about we head back town? See how things are going there. Yeah, okay. Hoss, it's a rat. Sure. Everyone seemed already there by the time Tyson and I arrived, with the notable exception of Roswell. Him plus Oswin and Benson. But I assumed they were off making sure Roswell was treated with whatever they could give him. Or at least that's what I opened. What's going on? Thanatos has been a menace. I am not. You kind of are. What's he doing, though? Nothing. What do you mean? You came in here wanting to talk to me, but you started talking nonsense. I wouldn't say nonsense, but he's actually looking to pick a fight with someone. What did he say? Well, there was one other commission. I just wanted to see if Orlando wanted to go see his dad. I don't want to see my dad. I don't think any of us do. He also followed up saying that Orlando's life is pretty expendable, to which a good deal after was spent making sure Orlando didn't roast him. Yeah, probably good that he doesn't, for now. It does raise an important question, though. Go for it, big guy. If Roswell is out of commission, how is that going to affect the exchange tomorrow? Well, I guess one of us need to go instead, right? No way he's going to be able to find out where we're going and come back. In a sense. I looked at Thanatos with a frown. The bad feeling I had from before was returning, but I kept my mouth shut. Well, if Oswin is going in regardless, there needs to be one other. I volunteer. We're just talking about it with Dave. You, no offence, but are we sure that's the right call? What do you mean by that? You're on edge already. Well, I don't see you calmly following along, seeing the way out and calmly coming back to grab us. Dude! Once a volunteer, there's someone more suitable. You're not going to suggest yourself, are you? The moment they pull out a gun, we're fucked. Dude! We should consult with Oswin, shouldn't we? Well, I would volunteer. But I feel I'm ill-equipped should we run into Memphis. Why? I feel like he'll insist I stick around for a chat when returning is the priority. Oh. For similar reasons, Orlando doesn't make a good choice either. But all that leaves is, well, Benson, myself and Dean. Except now that we know Memphis has a bear in his little group. He might try recruiting Dean the same way he'd try and recruit me. So, Benson and me? Well, Benson then, surely. If anything goes wrong, he can take care of himself. I say knock him off while they have their chance and leave the rest of us defenseless. I could feel everyone's eyes lock on me and felt I was going to be sick. Well, Dave's out too. I agree. That was not where I was expecting this to lead. Dave falls into the same category as Orlando, except instead of Memphis putting him on edge, it would be Jack. So we're left with no one. Well, shit, now what? Well, if someone has to go, we're just going to have to pick someone. In which case... In which case, I'll be the one that decides. Oswald was standing in the doorway when he spoke, and promptly approached who was standing with the rest of us. The really everything I caught Sal saying stands up to scrutiny. We don't have any good options with Roswell's current condition. How is he? Would you like the good news or the bad news? The bad first. 
I think it would be best to prepare yourself for Roswell's passing sooner rather than later. His condition is not improving as to be expected, but in addition it's worsening with every bit of stress that crops up. Right, the bad news linger in the air, I cut in near immediately. What's the good news? The good news is he's stable. I medicated him so he's sleeping soundly for now. He'll probably sleep the rest of the day away, so I wouldn't go expect him to make an appearance later. What about the pain? It was his choice. A moment of lucidity to inform me he'd be more useful to sleep. Well, what's that even mean? Any number of things. Indeed, the more pressing matter we have is figuring out who of you is going to be accompanying me into the woods. You have plenty of volunteers, it seems like. Let's make it any easier. My dear, I had to go with Roswell, given reasons that need not be explained again. We'll have to consider who our best option is moving forward. And just so we're clear, Benson isn't being considered? That's right, I feel it's best to utilise cover and escape after you know where you're going. Or in the worst case scenario, when no one returns, you're not left to fend for yourselves. Looked at each other uncertain. The plan we had was for now out the window, and no one seems happy about it. There's something else I want to show everyone. It might not be much, but... My eyes went to Thanatos briefly for a dig around in my pocket, placing the Leo medal carefully on the table. A Leo? Leo? Not, um... It's Leo, trust me. Oh, all right. Where was it found? Um, in the place where Oswin does his best work. Excuse me? That was the clue I was given by Thanatos. Real nice throwing me under the bus there, Julia. Would you be so lucky to have thrown you under the bus when they arrived? Unless you have some explaining to do in lieu of no bus. He means it's steady. I'd like to any big secret. We didn't go to your lab without you being there, if that's what you're worried about. The study? Yeah, we found it inside a book. Was it a special book? Well, Oswin's sister had hollowed up the inside of it to hide the metal and a picture inside. A picture of what? Oh, um... I went to speak, but he's already moving, almost breaking out into a run as he cleared the dining room. Uh... So what was the picture of giving you off the winter stick around to hear you out? It was him as a kid, with his brother and sister. Oh, is that all? Well, yeah. And it was with the medal? Also, yes. And there was... nothing special about the photo? No additional clues? There's a note on the back written by his sister, I think. Something about remembering what was most important. What could be most important? What indeed? Mr. Thanatos, do you know what is most important to Oswin? Sure do. I don't want this, Sal. He's not going to help us. He might. If it was a picture of him and his siblings, then it'd be family, right? Or at the very least his brother and sister. Do you think that he'd have forgotten that? Who really knows? Don't any of us have a functional family life. No, hold on, my family's just fine, thank you very much. With Dean being the exception, I think. I see what you're saying. As hard as it is to hear. It can't all be bad, can it? I'm not going to speak for anyone other than myself, but the pattern seems to be there. Mine's in the Mafia. Austin and are estranged from theirs. Roswell's is dealing with him dying early and aren't even, any there, aren't even there in his final moments. We're his family, aren't we? That's true, although not exactly the same. Then there's what you and Tyson have. Everyone, with the exception of Dean, seems to struggle with family life. It's not just me that finds that just a little suspicious, right? What's wrong with me having a good family? We're not going to find out that you and Dom are secretly cousins or something, are we? Orlando, they were different, uh... You can say that they were different kinds of bears. That's not racist. I'd have thought the fur colour was enough for that. I haven't seen your brother not knowing the relation at first. You'll forgive me for not ruling it out. 
Should we go and check on Oswin? Why? He ran pretty quickly to go see, presumably, the picture. But it wouldn't take that long to go get it and come back. Maybe something happened. We could afford to wait a little longer. There's nothing left for us to discuss without him anyway. Anyone want tea? We can do tea while we wait. Maybe I can make a few sandwiches to use up the bread. All right, I'll have our sandwiches. You do tea. Or Sal, come help. Do you think that's wise? That's a fair question. We'll be fine. Just come on. Dean patted Sal on the back, and that was enough to get him moving. Orlando bringing up the rear, they disappeared into the kitchen. Well, this is a mess. At least I get tea. Like, tea is really going to help. Don't get him started. I've got enough on my mind already. Fine, you get a pass. Thanatos? What? Are things still going according to plan? We'll find out tomorrow. What makes you say that? You can go a few different ways. Really all there is to do is just wait. Well, waiting is the worst part. Well, I'm sorry to say you're out of luck. Just wait and I'll take the fight to them. I'll tell you for free going in early is a bad idea. Tyson dropped into a chair and started to tug at his fur. I didn't say anything. Especially after seeing Hoss in a similar state. Yeah, I'm going to check on Oswin. I'll... I'll be back. I hurried along until I was upstairs again, looking around for Oswin. The bookcase was still open off to the side, so I headed into the study. Oswin? He was sitting at the desk, the photo clutched tightly in his hands. The moment I made a sound, he stiffened and sat up straight, dipping his head so he could quickly wipe his eyes. Are you okay? When he turned to me, he was stone-faced, but his eyes were puffy. Even having not gone all that long, he must have been hit hard by something in that picture. I'm fine, all things considered. Sorry, I can come back if you want to be alone. Just, you ran off and we're done downstairs for now, it looks like. He shook his head, setting the photo down. There's no benefit in being alone or with people, so do as you please. What does the note mean? On the back of the photo. Without prompting, he flipped it over, looking at the photo again. What was most important? There's always something she said to us. Something meant to keep us focused on what we were meant to be doing. Me with my medicine... Reggie with his studies in whatever father wanted him to focus on. Florencia? Uh, Floria. It was the last thing Reggie said to be before he passed as well. I got the feeling he knew something bad was going to happen and... Well, he was right. Because of the medical trial? If things couldn't be worse, so many things lined up with that day. The trial went wrong, Reggie passed. I knew my life was forever changed that day. It was meant to be a day of great happiness, but... He was smiling, but I could see the tears start to threaten the corners of his eyes. I'm sorry, Oswin. At the very least, Flora was there with her husband, and Benson came soon after I called him to tell him what went wrong. He was there when Reggie passed, and took me away soon after things were... settled, shall we say... Settled. We did some paperwork, really. Funeral arrangements and the like, most have already been handled my brother as a precaution, assuming I'd have my hands full of the vaccine should things go well. If things went well, wouldn't he have been cured? Yes, but such a cure wouldn't work immediately. Even dosing Reggie assuming a successful response to the children would mean he'd need to be watched for a while. Oswin said slowly, breathing out and tucking the photo into his pocket. Thank you for checking upon me. It only seemed right, given, well, how you left. Yes, well, I suppose the time for tears can be until you've escaped off the mountain with your friends. Soon we can figure out who can go along with you. Yes, that is something we need to decide, isn't it? It's going to be me, isn't it? Pardon? It's just, that's the impression I was getting. But somehow Thanatos was arranging things, so I'd be going with you. If I'm being frank, I'd much rather if you didn't join me. Well, of your friends, Dean is the one I'm considering taking should I not be able to bring Roswell. Oh, well, good, I guess. You're not worried about Memphis trying to recruit him. 
not overly. No offence to Dean, but I don't think he and Memphis will click based on morals alone. Dean's proven a little too soft to join organised crime. He's not big enough to pass on that quality alone like Sal likely would. Well, that's, uh... I don't worry, your boyfriend will be fine. Oswin's hand found my shoulder and looked me over. Don't misunderstand, however. I'm going to spend the rest of my day concocting something to jumpstart Roswell to a stage where he can come along as intended. Or at least try. Why? This is the most expendable? Oh, very so simply. But if we're reducing things down to raw facts, then yes. As one whose life is the closest the end of its natural expectancy to maximise the years left of the rest of your group. The words seemed to catch in his throat and he stopped there, looking away. Okay. Yeah. Come now, Dave. Are you willing to risk your own life should things go awry? We don't know how things tomorrow will go, but if we're playing the odds... And Roswell is the right choice. Yeah. Assuming he's well enough to go, Leverage's his luck is the right move. What about you, though? With you staying with Memphis while you all escape? I'll be fine. Should the worst happen, Benson knows what to do. Won't Benson miss you if you get killed, though? Almost certainly. With our options so limited, risk and death is just the point we're at. He made to leave, walking past me. Where are you going now? If I have half a day and a night at most, should I forgo sleep to get Roswell on his feet? Best I get started now. You best rest as well, Dave. I imagine tomorrow is going to be telling on everyone. Right, yeah. I stood there as he wandered away. I knew where he was likely headed, but I made no effort to follow. All I had to do was believe in him. He'd get Roswell fixed up, the plan would go ahead as required, and... That was that. We'd be free. So I made my way downstairs I was in a daze, wondering how likely Oswald was going to succeed in his making of some medicine in half a day. It didn't seem possible, but all things considered I wasn't going to turn down a miracle. Ah, Dave, there you are. Huh? Oh, were you looking for me? Uh, the others were curious how you're faring checking up on Oswin. Ah, yeah, we just had a chat upstairs, but now I think he's going to be holed up in his lab for the rest of the day. I imagine because of Roswell. Yeah, apparently he wants to mix up some medicine for him or something. Benson seemed to consider the prospect over longer than I expected him to, tucking into his moustache. Benson? I sure do hope that man knows what he's doing. You don't think he would? I believe he's emotionally compromised and is about to make a rash decision. Because of stress? Or because, um... Because of what? Well, he saw a picture of him and his siblings upstairs. Something Florencia hid, I think. So he's probably thinking about family. Yes, I believe he is. Do you think he'll get to see his sister again? Who can say? Can I ask you a personal question? It's, I don't know, something that's been bothering me as well. Oh, what is it? Oswin and Roswell. That's not a question. They're not related, are they? I mean, they seem close whenever Oswin takes Roswell away somewhere, or times like now, right? It's not the first time it's happened, so... That is a touchy subject. Touchy how? A uh, long time ago, Oswin wanted a child of his own. A long time ago. But life decided it wasn't meant to be. He decided as punishment to himself that he was unfit to raise a child. Because of the medical trial. Very good, yes. It was because of the trial. So Roswell... Let's just say it's a means for him to enjoy the thing that he wished he had. And that's all. I gave Benson a funny look, but his stare didn't give me anything else to work with. When they both go into the woods tomorrow, I have questions. And at that time, I'll be happy to provide answers. But in the meantime, I should go provide support should he need it. A little fatherly touch, if you will. Good luck. I will know the first thing on how to help there. I shall see you later, Dave. Guys, I'm back. Well, welcome back. I thought we should eat why the fuck we want we're hungry. If we're getting out tomorrow, may as well. And if we don't? 
Oh, let's check him on Oswin go, Dave. Fine, he's in his lab now, I think. Go and see if he can get Roswell up and about to make tomorrow easier. When he scanned the room, I noticed the lack of a certain rat about and frowned. Thanatos is missing. Yeah, I said he had somewhere he had to be. Sure he does. Just in case I misheard you, Oswin's still going to the woods tomorrow. He's going to work his magic at Roswell to go with him still. Magic? He's going to make medicine or something. I don't know how that works. Still, we can't go eating all the food. Okay, but why though? Because, um, you know. I think Ven's going to make the most use of that food. It should be us, right? Or what it's worth. I think it's worth splurging a little bit. We'll feel better going into tomorrow well fed, just in case the worst should happen. Or better yet, give us the energy we need to make sure we can make a clean escape. Good idea, yeah, but what do we want for food? I could see Ty starting to speak and I reach over to push his muzzle aside, speaking for him. Because I could go for a fried chicken and pumpkin bread. Uh, together? If we're making requests, may we have chicken and waffles instead? Uh, sounds like Comfort Food Central. Guys, we're not having chicken and waffles. Please? Uh, counterpoint, Orlando. If you don't let us have chicken and waffles, you have two older brothers willing to step in and make you do it. Oh, I wouldn't do something like that. Come on, Sal, you're letting the side down. Sorry. Orlando, please make us chicken and waffles. Or I'm going to tell everyone the story about what happened when you had coffee. Oh? He wouldn't. Well, failing that, had Tyson in the wings, because he counts too. But Sal's ready to go, it seems. So, chicken and waffles. Easy. Fine, I'm going to prepare the chicken now. If we're doing this right, I need to prepare buttermilk. Well, that's dinner sorted. I'm a little excited now, if I'm being honest. Is I going to tell that story, though, right? Why would I do that? He's making chicken and waffles. Hoss, help? Oh, he's going to invite you, Tyson. Pick the battles you can win, and you're not winning this one. It'd be like fighting Dave or anything to do with arts and crafts. Oh, fuck that then. I puffed out my chest in pride, for I saw Sal start to make movements. Where are you going? Oh, fried chicken is something I can cook, and cook well. well. If nothing else, I'll offer to help Orlando with that for the rest of the day. He already made up his mind, it seemed, and followed Orlando into the kitchen. Tyson followed suit soon after, mouthing at me, pumpkin bread, before flashing me a thumbs up and heading into the kitchen as well. Well, that's exciting. Dinner, or...? I just seen him mood shift upwards. I was worried we were going to be down in the dumps. I flashed in a quick smile, but it faded fast, I thought about tomorrow. It was going to be a big day. A lot of things had to go right, and there was still a worry I had that things would go horribly wrong. Oh, Dave. Oh, what? Oh, don't worry. Don't think anyone's forgotten. But try and focus on other things for now. Yeah, it's not a great situation, but all of us know that. We'll get through it one little bit at a time, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. How about you find, go find the board game and bring it downstairs? Huh? Why? Or would it have been bad just to spend the day down here, right? Give Roswell the space to recover, Oswin the space to work. Those are all keeping together, so it should be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, any preference for what game? As long as it's something we can all play, we should be fine. I rushed upstairs a notable spring in my step, but stopped dead in my tracks I went to make a move with the cupboard with the games. Roswell was sitting there dazed and seemingly out of it. Thanatos, on the other hand, was seemingly waiting for me to arrive. What's going on? Come here, Roswell's got something for you. I shuffled close to exactly what Thanatos was referring to. As Roswell was sitting in the beanbag, he had one hand cradled in his lap with the other resting beside him, holding something that looked very familiar. Wait, that's... In his hand was another medal. This one with a prominent letter V with the ends all curvy. 
Well, Paulie shouldn't be in, be in bed. That great, he found a medal, but... Eve, you, you need to get out of here. His fingers flex around the metal disc just a little, but his overall grip was slack. What? Dave, he's... Roswell struggled to lift the medal, breathing hard. His hand was shaking as he held it out for me to take. He's about to... It was a trap. My fingers barely brushed the metal for a sharp pain in my skull made me black out. Things were going so well. Things seemed to be taking a turn for the better as much as they could be. But Thanatos had decided to knock me out again. He'd been doing it more lately, and he was starting to mess with my understanding of what exactly it was I was meant to be doing in any given moment. Question if I was awake or asleep, but dealing with this orientation afterwards and immediate pain at the start. The only consistent thing I knew was that whatever I was about to see, I wasn't going to like it. And there we go. I'm not preventing you from finding out what Dave's about to see. That's Grizz, so blame him for this cliffhanger. <laughs> but rest assured, when we do find out, I will be making the video about it. Uh, it could be next month, or it could be the month after. Depends how the updates are going, of course, with all these things. I have to wait for that. But we will definitely find out. Hopefully before too long. <laughs> but in the meantime... Uh, we'll be having Interior quite soon. That's kind of a short update on that, so I'll be trying to drop it in on uh, the 21st, which is, of course, the longest slash shortest day of the year, delete as applicable. So I am actually have a day off up here because of other stuff going on. So I'll fit that in then. And then on the weekend, we are looking at uh, more Remember the Flowers. We're going to be going to see what's going on there. So there's a few things to look forward to. And July, well, we're going to see what happens. But uh, I believe there might be some more far beyond the world going on then. I definitely want to get back to Minotaur Hotel and Tennis Ace. It has been a while since we did that. And of those of you who are following after class, you'll know that uh, Lars had a patron only update fairly recently. So I'll be waiting for that public update and I'll definitely be doing after class Lars route when we can. Maybe next month, maybe August. That's up to Ander and Rex. I can't say anything myself. But that is it for now. Apart from, as always, saying thanks to all my donors on Patreon and Kofi. I very much appreciate all of you, especially with the way things are going with inflation and whatnot at the moment. A special mention has to go out to my uh, top patrons. Burnt Toast, Kartek, Copas Vissa, Besuksu, Lark Huskerton, Bastian, Brian Hall, Gunnar Muller, Tiger Cup, Ida Corval, Anubis Silverwind, Brandon Bradford, Dissonance, Grizz, who also thank for this VN we're doing, Spiderling, Kopi, Zinu Dragowolf, Marcus, Evan King, and Monolay. And also thanks to all those people you've seen listed at the start of the videos. Uh, just doesn't matter how much they give, it all helps. I do appreciate all of you. As I keep saying, but I just want to make sure you know this. I do appreciate all of you. But until we return to Adastra in a couple of days, I'm going to wrap things up and see about feeding my dogs. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>